a scout video, me. Yeah. Sorry, Y'all want a photo? Hi. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> so I'm getting out of you. So I'm getting out of you too. Hi. I've only videoed you once. Take your hat down. Hi. <laughs> I'm not gonna be your cash cow. I'm not gonna be your cash cow. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a guest girl. Are you not concerned? Hello, YouTube. You can't tell it's genetic, can you? No, not at all. <laughs> Join us as we embark on a journey into the heart of chivalry, of bold knights, of elegant horses, and a quest for a champion. The hundreds of knights in service to the Queen both they petition Her Majesty to hold a great tournament in order to find one who shall stand as protector of the realm and defender of the throne. A warrior who wears the crest to the Queen and in all things the bringer of the Queen's grace, or the instrument of the Queen's justice. In one passage of arms after another, these six knights have arisen as the finest in the art of war. From the western marches come the champions of Castilla, Santiago, Navarre, the Red Knight, the Black and White Knight, the Yellow Knight! From the east ride the titans of Leon, Paramada, Valiente, the Green Knight, the Red and Yellow Knight, the Blue Knight! Ah, uh, listen my friends, for the moment has arrived when I must weigh your spirit. My lords, my ladies, tell me, how you cheer the heroes who have come here this day to toil in honor of your kingdom? Give me your voices! <laughs> ah, well enough, for the Queen has ordered all the knights to draw nigh. in battle. Know that the house of the valiant stands ready to offer mercy at need or strength on battle. Long is the tale of the sons of this gallant house, for they are reckless, brave and true. Unchain the gates and welcome Del Mau of Valiente, the Blue Knight!
when all others have proved faithless and despair scales the walls of the stronghold. Look to the west for the banner of something of the Nicopostea to bring thunder down upon the foe. Let the enemy sue for pardon unanswered, for neither the corrupt heart or the hungry invader shall see peace in the shadow of the warrior priest. Look to the west for no phrase such a true, the black and white knight. It has been said that to watch him ply his deadly trade with sword and shield is to know that devil is loose. Never has he been vanquished in his labors upon the field of battle. In the house of Peramala will remain standing defiant in the setting sun. Joyous in victory or stalwart and unbound until the bitter end. If bitter it must be, I give to you Del Fault, the Red and Yellow Knight! Tread lightly in the dark, my friends, for the lion sleeps with his eyes open. The work and dreams of a lifetime are swept away with a roar from the deathless house of Castilla. Great is the grief of the noble houses whose banners have fallen and been crushed under the weight of the lion of Calahora. Hear the darkening roar of terror uncaged. Behold the young lion, Deroche, the Red Knight! is great. For none save the noblest of her own house are permitted to bear the stag upon their shield. And yet this boon has been granted to your champion. Is he the greatest of us all? Let the coming contest measure him in the song be then written. Shall it be joy or lament for the champion of their own? The Green Knight! Bears the scepter and wears the crown in the company of her royal household and those chosen to serve you this day. I present your host, Her Sovereign Majesty, Doña Maria Isabella.
priests has here been served and revelry had. I pray that tonight will be no exception. Go now, loyal retainers. Follow the banners held off by these brave squires and serve well my guests. My lord, my ladies, praise and cheer for the Queen's royal household, the captain of the guard, the brave squires to your knights, and for all your serfs and winches! Cheers. Yeah. 
And now, Cedric, what of the feast? Is it ready yet? For a few moments more, my queen. I've had the finest fare in all the kingdom prepared for our guests, and extra care is being taken to see that all is perfection. Perfection indeed. Very well. Lord Marshal, some entertainment for my guests. Of course. Her Majesty the Queen is most proud of her stable of pride Spanish horses, and among them are four of the most renowned in all of the known world. And it is my honor to present them to you now. We begin with Insolente, the fearless mount of Prince Carlos, at the Battle of Bosque Blanco, where he carried the prince to victory and to fame. the arrival of the Spanish horse onto the field, and in no time are both tested more than in the performance that awaits us. Kings and queens throughout the world performing the victory march, the Spanish War. Possess courage and strength, so too will others be known for their elegance and poise. All hail Gallants! First of the legendary sons of our sailors, he was renowned as the pride of the Emperor of the East. Here is grace in motion as Gallant performs the passage. At the center of the arena, the march in place to be off. And once again, in an elegant farewell, the passage. My lords, my ladies, get on! And finally, mightiest of the Queen's legendary stable, namesake of the mythic titan who was doomed to uphold the sky, comes Atlas. As the peal of thunder will ring in the mountains, so too will the rumor of the approach of Atlas onto the field of battle strike fear and awe into the heart of the enemy! Focus your attention on the center of the arena. Once again, Forth. 
With her winged hunter upon her fist, it is my honor to present to you Lady Autumn, her queen's master falconer. Be still, noble guests. Do not seek the attention of this mighty bird of prey. Remain in your seats and do not attempt to distract her from her feathers. Though the talons are sharp and the keen eyes locked upon the task. This falcon poised for flight has come for hooded, but once the hood has been removed, the angel dance of the hunted and hunter begins. Behold, he takes wing.
Everybody, fit for a queen. My world, my ladies. 